An introduction to factorization or factoring. Sometimes it is necessary to group terms together when they cannot be added or subtracted. Generally before, when listing factors, we should have noticed that factors always existed in pairs. What we are asked to do in factorization in algebra is to find a pair of factors for an algebraic expression. Thus, factorization or factoring depending on where you are from. For this series of videos, I'm generally going to focus on factorization that produces two factors. To set the scene for this, we first need to understand the rules of multiplication when applied to two factors. So we should understand how to multiply a term by an expression. We'll stick to a two-term expression for now, and an expression by another expression. So the former. This is revision, the distributive law. We learned before that multiplication is distributive over addition. Thus, Negative 3 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to negative 3 multiplied by x added to negative 3 multiplied by positive 2, which is equal to negative 3x minus 6. I have already gone through numerous examples of these in previous videos, so I wouldn't dwell on it here. Starting with an expression in the form negative 3x minus 6 and getting to the factors negative 3 and x plus 2 is the first form of factorization we will do factorization by ACF. More on this in a separate video. Introducing the term binomial expression. It is simply an algebraic expression consisting of exactly two terms. Now to the latter. A two-termed expression multiplied by another two-term expression. For example, x plus 2 multiplied by 3x minus 4. The rule here is to multiply each term in each expression by all the terms in the other expression. Thus, in this example, we multiply x by 3x, add it to x multiplied by negative 4, we add that to 2 multiplied by 3x, and we add it to 2 multiplied by negative 4, which gives 3x squared minus 4x plus 6x minus 8. And we have negative 4x and positive 6x having the same algebraic quantity, so they can be added to get positive 2x. So we end up with 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. Starting with an expression in the form 3x squared plus 2x minus 8, and getting to the factors x plus 2 and 3x minus 4 is the second form of factorization we'll do. Factorization of quadratic expressions. More on this in a separate video. The general form with four letters, for example, p minus q multiplied by m plus 2n. This gives p multiplied by m added to p multiplied by 2n added to negative q multiplied by m added to negative q multiplied by 2n, which gives mp, remember alphabetical order, plus 2np minus mq minus 2nq. There are no like terms, so nothing can be added to simplify further. Starting with an expression of the form mp plus 2nq minus mq minus 2nq and getting to the factors p minus q and m plus 2n is the third form of factorization we will do. Factorization by grouping. More on this in a separate video. What about x minus y all squared? Or x minus y multiplied by x minus y. Multiplying, we get x multiplied by x added to x multiplied by negative y added to negative y multiplied by x added to negative y multiplied by negative y, which gives x squared added to negative xy added to negative xy added to y squared. Further simplifying, this gives x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Starting with an expression x squared minus 2xy plus y squared and get into factors x minus y and x minus y or simply the factor x minus y all squared is another form of factorization. Factors that form a perfect square. For example, x squared plus 8x plus 16. It is difficult to spot the relationship and can be solved as any other quadratic. For completeness, I mentioned it now. We'll get back to it in a section much later on called completing the squares. And we have, for example, 
x minus y multiplied by x plus y or x plus y multiplied by x minus y. This multiplication gives an interesting result. x multiplied by x added to x multiplied by negative y added to y multiplied by x added to y multiplied by negative y to give x squared minus xy plus xy minus y squared which simplifies to x squared minus y squared. Starting with an expression in the form x squared minus y squared and getting to the factors x plus y and x minus y is the last form of factorization we will do. Factorization of difference of squares. More on this in a separate video. So, for these last two factors that form a perfect square and difference of squares, if you can recognize the pattern, then you can just list the answer. The former tree though builds on each other in turn. That is, to factorize a quadratic equation, we need to understand factorization by grouping and by ACF. And to do factorization by grouping, we have to understand factorization by ACF. Thus, I'll go through these topics in the sequential order that's expected. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I'm trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.